Hi, hello, uh, welcome to your unit one set of videos. Please make sure that you know exactly what homework format you need to use and go ahead and get started. Alrighty, my friends. So for today's video topic, we are going to be looking at the shift from hunting and gathering to farming. Okay. And please keep in mind uh, what the format is for the homework. And I know this topic is incredibly exciting, right? Wow. Going from hunting to gathering to farming. I know you guys. I know. Don't worry about it. I still got you. Okay. So what are our objectives? We have three main objectives for this video. Number one, where should world history start? Right? Number two, what were the human effects of transitioning to agriculture, right, to farming? And then at number three, what was the shift from hunting and gathering to farming, right? Essentially just addressing our topic. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started with how agriculture was influenced by the various gender relations. So many scholars believed that women most likely began the actual care for plants. The reason being is that the women became very familiar with the whole entire life cycle of plants because they had to forage and gather near their communities. And they noticed the effects of sunshine, of rain, and of various temperatures on the vegetation. And so hoping for a larger and more reliable food supply, women in the Neolithic societies probably began to nurture plants instead of starting to collect the available foods uh, within the community. Meanwhile, Instead of just stalking game with the intention of killing it for meat, Neolithic men began to capture animals and domesticate them by, by providing for their needs and supervising their breeding, right? Saying when it's yay or nay to make some burgers. And these practices gradually led to the creation of agricultural societies. So for our unit, we're going to be looking at regions in Southwest Asia, okay, indicated there for you, and agriculture kind of mainly started in this area here and domestication around 9000 BCE. We're also going to be looking at Africa, specifically Egypt and Nubia. We're going to be looking at East Asia, as well as South Asia, right, with uh, modern day China, modern day India. We're also going to be looking at Mesoamerica and Oceania. Various grains like rice, for example, were being grown in East Asia, and cattle, sheep, and goats were being domesticated in Africa. Domesticated animals, however, were much less prominent in the Americas, Eastern Hemisphere because the Paleolithic peoples essentially hunted all of their large species to extinction. So in the Americas, they had mammoths, right, mastodons, and horses, yes, were indigenous to the Americas, but they essentially all disappeared from the Americas by about 7,000 BCE because, once again, they were hunted to extinction. But with the exception of llamas of alpacas that you see right here on your screen and guinea pigs most american animals were not suited to domestication so our final section of the video is the early spread of agriculture so once established agriculture quickly spread foods originally cultivated in only one region also spread widely as merchants, migrants, or other travelers carried knowledge of those foods to agricultural lands that previously had relied on various different crops. So for example, wheat is originally uh, from what is modern day Iran, right, in the Middle East. But you can see evidence of how wheat would spread from the Middle East all the way to Northern India, right, around um, 5000 BCE, you can see that. So even though agriculture was established 
all throughout the world at various times and independently, yes, agriculture still was a way for humans to connect with one another, to trade their knowledge, their experiences, their goods, and to spread various types of plants that can be created and made for human consumption. So agriculture involved long hours of physical labor, right? You had to clear the land, you had to prepare the fields, plant the seeds, pull the weeds, harvest the crops. And this definitely, most likely, <laughs> required more work than the actual Paleolithic foraging. Um, but agriculture was incredibly appealing and stuck because it made it possible to produce an abundant amount of food. So no longer do you have to rely on, you know, going and excuse me, migrating to various parts of the world to grab that one piece of food. Right now, you are relying on that one piece of food in this one area that you are staying put. And this is the transition to, yes, for sure, hunting, gathering to farming, but also the transition from a more nomadic lifestyle to a more settled lifestyle where you're going to see more settlements, more cities, right? Towns starting to be established around the various farms. And that, my friends, is where we are going to end this video today. So really quickly, what did we learn? Well, hey, once again, humans are incredibly complex. Right? Agriculture started in various places and times around the world, and the shift to farming was incredibly beneficial to humans as it created a stable food supply. And hey, guess what? Food is always, always, always a driving factor for humans. Wow, what a fantastic, invigorating, insightful, productive, wonderful video that Miss I has created for you. Yes. I know, you can go ahead and clap for me. It's totally fine. Please, please, please make sure that you have completed whatever homework format I have asked and given to you for this video. And have a fantastic rest of your day. Goodbye.